Hello everyone, I'm Ritika and I'm going to give a presentation on electronic payment processing. So uh, before we go into details of what is electronic payment processing, first discuss what is payment. Payment is structure of money from uh, one party to another via certain media. If uh, this media is uh, electronic, it is termed as electronic payments, uh, then we have subcategorized the uh, payment types like physical payment, electronic uh, payment. We have three types of electronic payments, debit card, uh, electronic uh, check and electronic bills. Now uh, let's have a look at the players involved in uh, electronic processing. The first one is uh, card holder, uh, the second one is merchant to whom the card uh, holder is making a payment, uh, then the third one is card issuer uh, which is the card holder's bank and the fourth one is acquire bank. Now uh, let's see into detail like how this payment processing is done. So for example a customer uh, goes to a retail shop, he swipes his card and then the transaction. So what happens in the background? So uh, the customer uh, walks into the shop. He gives us a credit card or a debit card that is swipe against this seller uh, pass machine. The seller sends the detail to the seller bank and the seller bank sends the detail to the buyer bank for authorization purpose where uh, they will define, uh, decide whether the card member is having sufficient fund for the processing or not. Once the authentication is done, it will come back to the seller. Seller will send the goods to the buyer and then in the background, both the banks of like buyer bank and uh, seller bank will do the settlement. Now, this is the first one card processing. Now, coming uh, on to electronic check. Electronic check is an uh, electronic version of uh, physical check or paper check which we have today. Uh, actually, uh, in uh, case of paper check, it takes a lot of time that is uh, more than 30 days for processing. So they have come up with electronic check processing in which everything is done electronically. The main part over here is ACH that is uh, automated clearing house which does the settlement between the buyer and the merchant. Uh, it does the batch processing per day. So this is the flow of electronic check processing. It's very similar to the card flow processing. The only difference is ACH is involved over here. The third type is electronic billing. Uh, over here the consumer register himself or herself to the biller website, they get the bill uh, on a monthly basis, they make the payment and the biller bank and customer bank does the settlement and payment is given to the billers. Now uh, as we can see there are many uh, rows in this system but on the other hand we have uh, cons related to the same like uh, we have fraud related thing so for uh, preventing them we have auth authentication, card verification number and other technique involved. Now coming over to the TPF and finance like TPF is uh, in today's uh, scenario finance scenario uh, the customer wants the uh, very quick response and uh, uh, in case of TPF, we have uh, reliability, availability and high speed available. So in that case, TPF is very good for uh, financial purposes. And since NIT is very good in TPF and it's also dealing with the banking part or uh, finance domain, we can watch these two things and uh, uh, enhance the domain and uh, technical part of NIT. Thank you.